Digging a little bit deeper, what is the clinical aspect? And this is the part that I get really excited about and is what makes this so unique. So what we found is we call them core groups. So the way that it typically starts out in the day is we start with, we call it, you can call it morning meditation, um, morning reflection, for about 20 to 30 minutes, we just kind of sit down and, and, and kind of get primed and centered for the day. And as we get that, we begin to open up and then we go into what we call our core groups. And we have, I mean, at the time, time of filming this, we have four different therapists that are able to either rotate or help each other out. But this is, this really is the, the meat and potatoes, if you will, of what we do. It's, it's like group therapy. There's different topics and themes that we go into, but this is the time where we really dive in to start to expose some of the stuff. So we've already began to pull the layers back of the actual substance uh, abuse. Once we're able to do that, we're able to get to the real stuff. So Monday through Friday, these core groups, we go deep and, and this is the part that almost without fail, every single client says, man, this is so unique and this is the part that really was the foundation of my entire recovery is this really intensive group therapy each day. So though that is uh, first the group therapy, then the group after that, it depends what day. A couple days a week we do an accountability group and this is where we actually learn how to, how to confront and, co and collide compassionately. So we're actually addressing our issues, we're holding up mirrors to each other, we're looking at our parts and different things and this really helps reveal, first it builds the community, but also it helps reveal of blind spots, things that maybe I don't see, but other people are able to see throughout my daily interaction with them. And so those are some of them. We do some community building as well, and actually team building, just kind of having fun and learning how to communicate and, and different things are going on there. And then uh, two of the other days, we do educational or didactic, where it's more of, of pharmacology, um, we have a nurse that runs one of the groups and actually teaches the pharmacological aspect so you understand the differences of medications, how it affects the brain, also substance, um, how that works. We go into the, the mind and how, how drugs and alcohol negatively affect the mind in certain ways, side effects, all sorts of stuff. So I, I would say the first part, so we'll say we'll, we'll block it into two halves. The first half of the day is really centered on the emotional growth, the spiritual growth, really getting that, that core th group therapy aspect, and then some educational accountability stuff. We take a break for lunch, and then as we come back, um, the clinical part starts, it's, it's like, it starts really heavy, and it gets a little looser, a little looser, and towards the end of the day, once, once the, uh, the emotional aspect has been hit, we move more to the body to tire out the body of learning, whether it's, it's uh, breathing, meditation, working out, stretching, we do all sorts of things just to see what would work best for you. Because our goal isn't, hey, you come in and you fit in a box and here's what happens. It's you come in, here is here are the steps and, and basically the tools, but let's see what works for you in your life. What are you gonna do? Some people say, you know, I'm, I'm a straight yoga person, so they try a few different things and they love that, but they're able to apply the yoga back home. Some people are just straight different old school weights, cardio, it, it really doesn't matter. We want you to do what's gonna most resemble what your life looks like and we're able to, to apply that here. And so that's kind of a, kind of a, an idea of how we start in the morning and go all the way. And by the end of the day, come like 6 p.m., you're gonna be tired. And it's a, it's a wonderful tired. It's not tired like before when I was living in, in the addict self way. It's the tired of living the recovery way. And it's like, it's like I'm satiated, tired, raw, but at the same time feel a sense of accomplishment. And so as the week goes, goes into Thursday, Friday, we start kind of pulling back just a little bit. And then by the weekend, we, we actually do a lot of fun stuff. So, so we're able to hit a lot of core aspects, but it's not nearly as in depth. We're able to work on spirituality and other aspects. And we use a lot of the time to be able to catch up with a lot of the work. So when you're here, there's a lot of work to be done. And uh, it's, it's, a real, it's a real neat process. It's neat to see someone come in at day one unmanageable and just looking and saying, I, whatever I need to do. And at the end of the program, be able to say, holy cow, I am unrecognizable and I can't wait to start living life again. And so that's kind of just a brief overview of the clinical aspect of our program.